Our next guest is a memory expert. He is the two-time USA memory champion. He's considered one of the top memory experts in the world. He can memorize a shuffled deck of cards in one minute, 27 seconds, and he can memorize 200 names of new people in 15 minutes. It's my pleasure to introduce to you Ron White. All right, thank you very much. That was a, that was a good introduction from memory, wasn't it? Uh, my name's Ron White. I'm excited to be here. I'm uh, happy to be here. Let me ask you this question. How many of you in this room think that you have a bad memory? Who thinks you got a bad memory? Oh, no, I got my work cut out for me, don't I? You do not have a bad memory. Your me memory is a million times better than you think it is. 20 years ago, I was 18 years old, and I, and I, and I, went and I heard about a memory class, and I took the memory class not because I thought one day I was going to be standing up on this stage or, or I would be on the National Geographic Channel or a two-time USA memory champion. I would have never have believed that. At the age of 20, or excuse me, at the age of 18, 20 years ago, I took a memory seminar simply, Stephen, because I felt like you. Somebody said, do you have a bad memory? And I said, oh my God, you wouldn't have no freaking clue. I got a 0 0.9 GPA at the University of North Texas right now. <laughs> it's a true story. And thank you for the support on that. I appreciate that. <laughs> feel a lot of love here. Got kicked out of college, actually, and uh, got suspended from college because my grades were just so horribly bad. Now, my problem was not that I didn't have a memory class. My problem was I wasn't going to class <laughs> and uh, significantly affected my grades. A couple years ago, the University of North Texas called me, and uh, they said, uh, we hear you're an alumni of the University of North Texas. We, and I said, well, kind of. <laughs> And I said, do you have access to GPAs? And they were like, no. And they said, we want to do a story on you. And I said, well, then let's do the story. <laughs> so we did the story. We talked about my time at North Texas, which, which uh, I had to be very creative on. <laughs> And uh, my dad is an alumni of there. And about a three months later, they mail it out, and he gets the, the, the magazine in the mail, and he calls me up. What kind of scam are you running? <laughs> I'm like, Dad, they called me. 20 years ago, you never would have convinced me or my family that I had some special memory ability that, that you don't have. Today, I will have to work hard, hard, hard to convince you that my memory is not any better than you because the things that I do with my memory today appear to be above average, and some people call them superhuman, and that's why I'm on the show Superhumans on the History Channel. If I met you, go ahead and stand up if I met you. Oh my God, uh, forget it, I don't wanna do this. Let's talk about leadership today. No, this is what we're gonna do. If I did not meet you, do not stand up. This is not beat up the memory guy time, all right? Uh, when, when, whenever I put, put your hands over your name tags and whenever I call off your name, have a seat. So Jenny, you can go ahead and have a seat. Amy, you can have a seat. I believe it's Alvin right here. You can go ahead and have a seat. And I believe this is David and uh, this is Shelby and Gary. Go ahead and have a seat. And Melina, uh, go ahead and have a seat. And I believe this is David right here. And you're Wendy and this is Sam and this is Francesca and you're Donna and that's Paul, Paul right there. And, and this is uh, Denise and uh, you are uh, Emily and that is uh, uh, Carrie, and that is uh, Kimberly right there, although you didn't stand up. We met. I'm very forgettable, I know. And this is Matthew, and this is Todd over here. We got Emma right here, and you are Jeremy. And then I believe right here I am looking at Rick and Janice, who sit next to me at lunch. And that, that right back there is Katie, and that is Sarah right there. And this is uh, Stephanie and Stephen and Cindy right here. And then over here we have Sarah, and you are Larry, and that's Russ, who's sitting down, but I still know you, and Max. And then you are Heike and Jessica and uh, Maria and and Di Diane and Veronica, you moved on me, didn't me, from the front to the back, but it didn't work. Meredith, go ahead and have a seat. Kate, you go ahead and have a seat. Louise, you can go ahead and have a seat. I believe this is Alan right here, and, uh, and uh, Aaron, and then right here we have Bob, and I believe this is, this is uh, Rob, and you, and you are Rhonda, and Wooch, and Kelly, and this is Beverly right here, and you are Elaine, and this is Bob, and I believe that is Michael right there, is that correct? And this is John over here. Doug, go ahead and have a seat. Catherine, have a seat. Judy, have a seat. Jeff, go ahead and have a seat. I believe that is Lucille right there, BB King, Lucille, you know what I'm saying? Um, let's see, uh, is, uh, what, I called you Scott, but what is, is that? Okay, that's right. All right, well, well, 
my job is hard enough, Scott, okay? <laughs> and then over here, we've got, uh, over here, we've got Nancy right here, and this is Sherry right here, and you are John, and you are Bodine, and this is uh, Cecil, Cecilia, Cecilia? Cecilia. Cecily, all right, and this is uh, Scott right here, and uh, are you Joan, is that right? Okay, and then, uh, and then this is, uh, okay, this is, this is uh, 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 Hannah, right? And this is, uh, you are Jake, and this is uh, Dr. Stephen LePen, and this is Debbie, and then over here are you Cody, all right? And then uh, Tori, right, okay? And Lauren, what are you trying, y'all, y'all did that on purpose. These are best friends, and they switching around, so I wouldn't notice that. And then, uh, and then oh, let's, let's come over here. We have, uh, we've got Adil, and we've got Russ, and you are Patty Dale, and that is Carol right there, and that is, uh, 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 Louise and Lenora, is that right? And Cheryl over there, and you are Sheila, and that is Suzanne. And then uh, right here, this is, you are, are you, are you Margaret? Is that right? And then oh, I'm going to come down this way, Larlene. And then still heading this way, we've got, uh, we've got Mark right here, and you are Mary Nell, and that is Malcolm right there. And then uh, over there, that's Lori over there, and I believe that is Rochelle. My eyes are getting so bad, but that's Sarah over here. And uh, let's see, how much time do I got left? <laughs> All right, I'm still doing pretty good, okay. Uh, I cannot, see. That's, that's Joe Set right there. All right, and uh, is that Kyle right there? All right, and uh, then we'll come over here. You know what happened, ladies? You know what happened with you two? I was so stunned by your beauty. <laughs> Just locked my whole memory up. But I'm going to go ahead and say that you are Gloria and you are Janet. And I'm going to stop right there for the purposes of time. Is that pretty good? Yeah. All right. With a little bit more time and a little bit more thinking, I would have got all of you. But here's the good news. Not only with a little bit more time and it would, would have Ron White gotten all of you, with a little bit more time, Shelby, you would have got them all, all right? Uh, uh, Ms., uh, Dr. LePen, you would have got them all. Debbie, you would have got them all. The greatest computer by far, bar none, without question, is you. Let me ask you this question. How many of you have ever shaken somebody's hand and two seconds later you can't remember their name? All right. Some of us need two hands up on that, right? <laughs> and when that happens, if we are totally honest with that person, and most of us aren't this honest, Veronica, but if we were totally 100% candid and honest, we would look right at that person and we would say, remember, this is honest. Hey, uh, you, you remember a few minutes ago when we were introduced? <laughs> I wasn't even listening to you. <laughs> That's the honest approach. The more common method that I saw today here at this seminar was this. Oh, let me see your name tag. Or, uh, or do you have a business card? Or the sneakiest of all, you know, I just want to spell your name properly. <laughs> and what do they say? B-O-B. -B, there you go. <laughs> oh, I didn't know if it had three B's or two. That's why I was asking. <laughs> Now, my name's Ron White. Both of those are pretty easy to spell, right? A few years ago, I was on a phone call with a woman, and, uh, and by the way, all y'all who heard Ron White was going to be the speaker, and you were all excited running here to hear tater salad. I apologize, all right? A few years ago, I was on a phone call with a woman, and my name's Ron White. Very easy to spell. At the end of the phone call, she said, sir, I want to get the correct spelling of your name. Could you spell it properly for me? <laughs> I'm like thinking, are you kidding me? So I was in a playful mood, so I said, ma'am, don't worry about the spelling. It's spelled exactly. That's right. I thought it was funny, too. She didn't think it was so funny. There was a pause on the other end of the line, and she said, well, would you mind sounding it out for me, please? <laughs> Here's the point, in business and in, in education in anywhere, you shake somebody's hand and you do business with them, whether it's a $10 deal or a $10 million deal, and you see them six months later at a baseball game and you don't remember their name, you have just told them people don't care how much they know until they first know how much you care. You've just told them you're just a, you're just a customer to them. You're not, you don't really care. It's not necessarily the message that's true, but it's the message that they get. Dale Carnegie says that everybody's favorite subject is what? 
There are five steps to do this. Write, this, write these five steps down because you already told me y'all's memories stink. <laughs> number one is focus. Number two is file. Number three is a picture. Number four is glue. And number five is review. What are these again? Number one, focus, file, picture, Glue, review. Number one, focus. Good nutrition and exercise will help your focus. Spinach and blueberries will help your focus. Um, I, I went on Google and I Googled a blueberry concentrate and I, and I mix it in there and that way I don't have to eat 100 blueberries a day. Uh, Omega-3 fish oil pills are good for your memory. Here is another tip. If you get only, and I hope you get five tips from my talk, but if you only get one tip, focus in on what I'm about to say because this is so simple. You're remem not remembering a name most of the time because you're not focused. Develop this one habit and you're gonna be amazed at how much your retention for name increases. As you are walking towards somebody that you do not know, ask yourself the question, what is their name? What is their name? What is their name? What is their name? What is their, now do not say that out loud, <laughs> okay? You're, but you're saying, what is their name? What is their name? What is their name? I say, hi, my name is Ron. He says, his name is Sam. Am I listening? Boom. Yes. Focus is the first key to your memory. What's the number two key to your memory? File. File is simply a place or a location to store information. This is how most of your brains are working right now. You meet somebody and they say their name is Steve. That name goes in your ear and it goes in the floor of your memory. Then you meet Karen. That name goes in your ear and it goes in the floor of your memory. And then you meet Bob. That information goes in your ear and goes in the floor of your memory. And then you see all these fantastic, awesome speakers. Are these not awesome speakers that we've had today, right? You've got pages and pages of notes and all that information is going in your ear and it's going on the floor of your memory. And then it's, and it's oh my God, this is so much great information and it goes in the floor of your memory. Your bank account number goes in the floor of your memory, right? <laughs> then you meet Steve. Then you meet Lisa. Then you meet Karen. And then you meet Bob. And then six weeks later, you're at the grocery store and you see Kyle again. He says, Ron! How you doing, man? Hey, it's so good to see you. And your subconscious mind is going, oh my God, oh my God. No, that's not it, that's not it, that's not it. No, 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 that's not it. No, that's not it. You're driving home two hours later, what happens? Yeah, your mind goes, ha, look what I found. Was the name up there the entire time? Yes, but it wasn't in a file. It wasn't in a place where you could put the data. I had files on everybody's faces. Every single one of your faces, I had a file, a place to store your name. So for Paul, <laughs> I used your ears. For a friend, something that stood out to me. Francesca, uh, I used your, 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 your forehead. Uh, Sam, I used your eyebrows. Uh, uh, Scott, I used your hair. You got a lot more than me, so I liked it, all right? <laughs> Elaine, I used how you parted your hair right there. Every single one of you, I used an outstanding feature on your face. That becomes your file. So, in the future, from this point forward, when you meet somebody, as you're walking towards them, what is their name, what is their name, what is their name, right? The second thing you're asking yourself, what stands out to me about that person's face? Is it their hair, their eyes, their nose, their lips, their mouth, their goatee? Whatever it is. The third thing you do, and this takes the most work, and this is what throws everybody off. When I was 18 years old, though, a guy told me to do this, and it changed my life. He said, Ron, for the next two to three months, every time you meet somebody, turn their first name into a picture. Everybody. When you're at the, the waiter and, and his name tag says, Steve, ask yourself what's a picture for that and turn it into a picture. And I did. And I thought, stove. Then I went to the bank and the teller's name was Chris. And I thought, cross. Then the next time I went to a baseball game and the guy taking tickets, it said Morgan. I thought, organ. And I did that with every name for two months, whether I saw a name on a billboard or a movie screen or a handshake. And at the end of two or three months, I had turned two or 300 names into pictures. After I, and I, these don't change. They never change. Morgan has been an organ for 20 years, all right? <laughs>
laugh. Don't laugh because John is whoosh, all right? <laughs> that hasn't changed for 20 years. Steve's a stove. Lisa's the Mona Lisa. Karen is a carrot. It never changes. Then when I see your face, the fourth step to remembering something, do you remember what it was? Glue. Glue is action and emotion. Glue is how you cement something into your memory. So I mentally glue, if your name is Karen and you've got really pretty eyes, I mentally glue that carrot to your eyes by shoving it in your eyes. <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm a very violent guy, right? I just got bailed out last week. <laughs> uh, if when you see somebody six months later, don't ask yourself what's their name. That will lock up your memory and it's the worst question you could ask your memory. Instead, the question you ask your memory is what stood out to me about their face? Oh, his ears stood out to me about their face. Oh, what was on his ears? Arrows. Oh yeah, man, arrows for Aaron. Aaron, how you doing, man? People say, Ron, that's crazy, that's silly. And I suggest to you it's not silly. What silly is, is doing a business transaction that's $10 or $10 million and telling that customer or that prospect the difference between doing business with you and the next guy is the personal attention, the one-on-one -on -one customer service that you're going to get. And then six months later when you see them at a Houston Astros game or a, or a Texans game or Starbucks, you can't remember their name. Last night I met a woman and she worked for a company that had 1,400 different products. She said, Ron, I'm responsible for knowing all 1,400 of those products. You would be a great salesman for me. <laughs> and I said, you don't need me because you have the ability to do that. Real quickly, how would you do that? There's a six-year-old little girl named Kaylee, and I love Kaylee with all my heart. She's not my daughter, but I could not love Kaylee anymore if she was. Last summer, she came to me and she said, Ronnie, teach me how to memorize the presidents of the United States. And I basically, we did the focus file picture glue review, but we did it in a bit of a different way. The files are pieces of furniture in her house. This is, this is your homework. Here's your homework. Here's your takeaway. Over the next two or three days, I want you to pick six rooms in your house and I want you to pick five pieces of furniture in each room and memorize those. For example, I walked Kaylee in her bedroom and Kaylee said, number one is the bed, two is the dresser, three is the, my sister's bed, four is my poster, and five is the closet. I walked Kaylee to the next room and she numbered five more pieces of furniture in that room. I walked Kaylee to the next room. She numbered five more pieces of furniture in that room. She did that with 44 pieces of furniture because there are 44 presidents. It took her about 30 minutes to do that. After we had numbered the furniture, then to remember anything, all you got to do, these become our files, right? The places in the room. Then we take the president's name, we turn it into a picture, and we mentally glue it to the furniture. So our first file was over there, which was her bed. I said, Kaylee, the, the, the information that we want to retain is called Washington. For you, it could be product knowledge. For her, it was a president. I said, what does that sound like to you? She said, it sounds like a washing machine to me. So the file is her bed, washing machine becomes the picture, and the glue is the story we create. We, I got Kaylee over here, and Kaylee's pouring soap, and she's pouring water, and she's spinning it around. File, picture, the action is glue. We did that with 30 pieces of furniture. Whenever we got to Nixon, I asked her what that sounded like, and she said it sounded like Nixon. So I said, Kaylee, sit down on the piano and start mixing a bowl. So she did. When I said, what does Carter sound like? She says, that sounds like my cousin. His name is Carter. I said, all right, Carter's climbing in the stove over here. Then Kaylee, a six-year-old little girl, walked through the house and said all 44 presidents, not with some silly song, George Washington, John Adams, Thomas Jefferson, James Madison. She said them this way, George Washington, Adams, Jefferson, Madison, Monroe, Adams, Jackson. And then I stopped her and I talked to her for 10 minutes and I said, pick it up right there. And then she continued to go and a light bulb went off in my head. I thought, oh my God, if I get this on video, I'm going to make a million dollars. I said, Kaylee, can we do this one more time? But can we film this? And she said, you can film it for a dollar.
It is so hot right now on YouTube. Time.com has put it on their website. ESPN.com has put it on their website. Fox and Friends, the number one morning show in America for 10 years, has put it on their show. Why is it powerful? It's powerful because it shows that even a six-year-old little girl, if she has focused file picture glue review with the files being pieces of furniture in her house, she can memorize information forwards or she can memorize the information backwards. If I worked for a company, I would take that product knowledge and put it on those files. I will conclude with this. Catherine, in the, in the, with the students, y'all create, go ahead and stand up. Y'all created a 38 digit number today and I have never seen this 38 digit number ever, right? And you gave it to me in about, a, about 90 seconds. I'm gonna repeat this number that I've never seen and that she created. That number should be 522 Eight, is that right so far? Five zero one seven two three one four seven 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 nine three four two five. Correct? What are the five things you need to memorize anything? Number don't applaud, we don't got the time. Number one, what are the five things? Number one, focus, file, picture, glue, review. One more time. Focus, file, picture. Glue, review. I am the world's most diehard Texas Rangers fan. The fact that I am not in the fact that I am not in St. Louis right now is driving my friends crazy. But there is no way in the world I am not wearing my lucky t-shirt. Go Texas Rangers, baby!